What's up card fighters? Clark here from Vanguard Central coming at you with a Fighters Collection 2016 opening. Uh, we know the set just came out today, so it's pretty cool. Let's get into the opening. Stand up! Vanguard! Alright. Let's tear this apart. So what do you guys think of the new set? Anything, any of your favorite cards in here? Anything cool you think is gonna really affect the game? All right, so first pack. We have Holy Seraph Orifriel, the Shadow Paladin G Guardian, Dark Knight Ludvik, and our first triple R, the Ambush Demon Stealth Dragon Onibu Radar. Alright. Next one we have the Narukami G Guardian. Lightning King Spirit Emperor Vitra. Righteous Superhuman Blue Prison. Pretty cool. Weird um, mechanic though for Nova Grappler though. And the Great Nature Stride Omniscience Dragon Hermithris. This card's gonna be really good for Great Nature. Next pack Spike Bros. Excellent Cheerleader Airy. Dark Irregulars False Dark Wings. Agrobat Malahat or something like that. And our first GR. Cool. Interdimensional Dragon, Warp Drive Dragon. I don't know how that's going to work with um, Gears, with the with their stride zone, because it's so cloggy, even though it's it can be very versatile. But I think it'd be better in Chrono Fang, maybe. Yeah. And then uh, Kagero G Guardian, Flame, Emperor, Dragon, Ashil Orb, Dragon. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of dragons in their name. Then Jinx Stealth Hermit Abidashi and the Aqua Force Triple R Marine General of Heavenly Silk Christos. Card's gonna be pretty good. Next pack Holy Dragon Laser Guard Dragon. The Sun on High Godhawk Ichi Bishioshi for OTT. And the Tachikaze, Destruction Tyrant, Grado, Gigant. Alright. Pretty good pull so far. Oh, nice. Grand Blue. G Guardian, Eclipse Dragon Hulk, Deep Course Dragon. I think this card is great because it not only mills but also gives you plus five. Then Sacred Tree, Dragon, Rain Breath Dragon for Neo Nectar. We saw this in the anime. And our next G, -gar G rare, Divine Knight of Rainbow Brocade Cloytennis. Wow, this card's really cool. You can see the holograph on it. But otherwise, I don't know a lot about Brave, but I know it's not that good. So, next pack Tachikaze G Guard, Iron Armored Chancellor Diformalex. Then Murakumo G Guard, Ambush, Demon Stealth Fiend, Hugen Wing. And the Mega Colony Insect, Wildfire, Mutant DD, Stagler Dipper. Not sure how effective that's going to be for Mega Colony, but you know we'll see what support they get in the next Tug Booster. Then we have Chainsaw, Mega Trick, Furnival. Nice, the Gear Chronicle. G Guardian, Uluru. She's like the best card in here, basically. Nice. And our next G Rare, Meteor Kaiser Bustard. Be pretty tough to pull off in some decks, but I think it'd be pretty good in in Victor if you saw Kamui use it. So pretty powerful stuff, but it's also like why not just go Victor Plasma or something like that. Then we have the Gold Paladin. G Guardian, Sacred Heaven Prayer Master Rhea. Yeah, the lame uh Slamy, oh the cat. 
that they just revealed uh, puts that in the dumpster, basically. Then a uh, goddess of seven colors, Iris, for Genesis. And then Narukami Triple R, Conquering Supreme Dragon, Volts, what is that, Volts Sapper, Dragon. Pretty good. I mean, you can have like a super retire if you're running a Vanquisher deck. I think that deck is going to be really powerful going into this. And our last set, Enigma and Patriot. Pretty good card. Uh, Death Star Vader, Demon Maxwell. Not sure why it has Star Vader because the skill has nothing to do with it. As it locks one of your own units to gain plus 5. It works better in Messiah, to be honest. And... Holy Seraph, Seracial for Angel Feather. Our pulls were not bad at all in this new set. I mean, I thought we'd get more Cray Elementals, but we didn't see any in that entire box. But otherwise, you know, this set's going to be really game-changing with the G Guardians and everything. We'll have a discussion about that pretty soon. But here's our G Rares in case you didn't see them. All right, let's get into this box. Oh, Jesus. Nice. Alright, what, uh, what clans are you guys looking forward to in this next set? Uh, I know Booster 7, Booster Set 7 is right around the corner and a lot of game changing things are going to happen. And if you guys saw the restriction list, it looks like Angel Feather got hit pretty hard, but I mean, they still got a great G-Guard that's coming out, right? And some, and the new stride is going to be broken. Alright, first pack, we have Sacred Tree Dragon, Rain Breath Dragon. For Neo Nectar, nice. Cray Elemental, Dark Element, Dimezel. This card's gonna be pretty good. And our first G Rare, Genesis Dragon, Trans Els Messiah. Um, seems pretty good. I think he's more of like a, a tech in, since you can run all the greedy cards in mus in a uh, Link Joker decks now. But otherwise, it's, it's all right. Next we have Sunrise on High. Godhawk Ichibiyoshi for OTT. Next we have Holy Seraph Oraphiel for Angel Feather. And our Triple R is Ambush Demon Stealth Dragon Onibu Radar for Murakumo. It'll be interesting to see what they give them in the tech, boost, tech booster since Murakumo is just pretty bad in general. Next we have the G Guardian for Link Joker. That's Star Vader, Demon Maxwell. Not sure how he works with Star Vader, but he works with, well with uh, Messiahs. Since you can lock your own units and unlock them at will. But we'll see what happens. Then we have Chainsaw, Megatrick, Furnival for Pale Moon. And our other Triple R is our Gold. Our Genesis one, Soul Blast 3, look at the top of your deck, put on the top or bottom of the deck, and until end of turn, if you drive check a 1, you can Soul Charge 3. Uh, not bad, Genesis is just in a weird spot. We'll see if they get some Fender support. Nice, Aqua Force, oh, sorry, Aqua Force G Guard, Guard Leader of Sky and Water, Flow, was that Flow? Flotia. Pretty interesting how you're going to have to guard since it's a first or second battle. Then we have the Dream Mutant Deity Scarabras. And our other Triple R, Super Cosmic Hero X Phoenix. This card is so funny. I love it. It's a Counter Blast 1 at the end of the battle. If the power is 35 or more and it did not hit, you can draw a card. That's great. You can set things up with Laurel and things like that. But we'll see how the game is played since you can guard rear guards now. It's with uh, the G Guardian uh, Dime, was it the Dark Elemental? Then we have Enigma Patriot. This card will go off almost every time for uh, Deep Police, to be honest with you. Because it's 20,000 or greater, like that's an automatic, what, uh, 31? You'll have an automatic 26 shield for your Vanguard right there. Then we have Excellent Cheerleader Airy for Spikes and the Willfire Mutant Deity Staggle Dipper. Not a great card, but we'll see what happens. Then we have 
Dark Knight Ludwig. This card is terrible for shadows, to be honest. I'm probably just going to run the Cray Elementals and maybe like one or two of this guy, but we'll see what they give them in the next future sets if uh, Kanzaki comes back. Then we have Sacred Heaven Prayer Masteria for Golds. The, the new Slamy, basically the big cat, is so much better than this one. But, um, yeah, it's a great card. Then we have Bermuda Triangle, Lucky Rise Elfrina. We'll see how Bermuda becomes with their new booster set coming out soon. It'll be cool to see more lollies, I guess. That's not me, but we'll see. Alright, then we have Dark Irregulars, False Dark Wings, Agrabat Ma Malat. Yeah, not sure. I think the Dark Irregulars got the short end of the stick in a booster set 7 with their G-Guard. And then a Grand Blue. This card is great. It's probably one of the best G-Guards next to uh, the Gear Chronicle one. But uh, you can mill 2, and then it gets plus 5k. Like, that's super easy. And it accelerates the process for Grand Blue. Oh, nice! And we got our G-Rare Meteor Kaiser Bustard. Ooh, looking nice. Next pack. Sweet, we got Retroactive Time Maiden. Ooh. Yeah, this is one of the best G-Guards in the game. Right now, by far, in a set 7. In a, with Fighters Collection and like a couple weeks away from set 7. Or a month or so, I think. Yeah, around there. And then we have Sailor's Medley Nasha for Bermuda. And Narukami Triple R, Conquering Supreme Dragon, Volt Zapper Dragon. Um, pretty good. I mean, you could get like a super retire off with Vanquisher because you're binding things every turn, but um, otherwise, it's like, why not just go into the Vanquisher stride or the uh, or Conquest, right, at that point? Oops, what is wrong with this one? Nice, okay. So we got Goddess of Seven Colors Iris for, what is that, Genesis? Yeah. The Narukami G Guardian. Pretty nice. And Marine General of Heavenly Silk. Christos. I'm going to run one of these cards in Thavos. It's going to be great. Or even Blue Wave, you could do that too, but we'll see. And last pack. See what we get. Great Nature, G Guardian. It's gonna be pretty tough to uh, to get the skill off in case you don't have anything on your field, because uh, Great Nature is already like killing itself. Then we have the Metal Element Screw. This card is good. It's good tech in to put into your G guards. And then G Rare Flower Princess of Peripheral Summer. Is that Versano? Man, look at that butt. Ooh. This card's gonna be good. No, I don't know. Honestly, I don't play Maidens. We'll see what Chris says. Alright, these are the G-Rares that we pulled. Bustard, Trans Else Messiah, and the Girl with the Booty. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed that opening. It was pretty quick, I would say. Uh, let us know down in the comments below what you guys think of Fighters Collection 2016, and maybe how it's going to change the game. Otherwise, Vanguard Central out.